So um, the first one here that you mentioned and you wanted to talk about was uh, digitization and really focusing on uh, technical data content. And what I'd like to know is I'd like to know that what are the challenges that people are faced with and what did uh, Ramco do about it? Sure, Mark. So, uh, yeah, I mean, all of us know that uh, technical data in an aviation world is uh, extremely crucial for maintenance. And uh, what we see is many organizations are managing a combination of uh, ways and methods to deal with it. So uh, they could be static or dumb PDFs on which uh, you know data is written out, or there are OEM provided services uh, to which organizations are subscribed or simply solutions or specialized solutions in this area that address you know, uh, I mean, prob uh, solutions for this particular area. And uh, what we are also seeing is uh, despite all these solutions that uh, we just discussed, uh, the typical challenges are of course, the amount of manpower and time uh, that's that goes into managing this data itself. Uh, you know, I mean, just to give you an example, uh, the revisions that come frequently from the OEMs on uh, these documents, itself take a lot of time, effort, and uh, not just that, uh, how they go about, how the engineers go about controlling this in shop floor uh, also causes a lot of inefficiency and productivity issues. So uh, if I can say this is, you know, really a kind of challenge that is prevalent in this particular, uh, you know, in, in the context of this particular, uh, uh, you know, aspect. And what we've done in our release is that uh, we, first of all, uh, you know, we have a module called ePublications, which is uh, dedicated to this particular area of managing technical data content. And we've significantly enhanced this module to look at a lot of practical problems in this area. So of course, at the content level, we have now a support for multiple OEM document types. So we support uh, iSpec to 2200 as well as S1000D uh, specifications now in our, in our e-publication modules. We've made a whole lot of improvements in the authoring functions itself. And we've made revision management much more slick uh, with a you know impact analysis that is clearly presented on a customized or not customized content for the authoring to be done uh, and you know the changes to be effected with much more ease. But what I would like to, uh, you know, specifically emphasize about is how we draw from that content. You know, that's an area that in Ramco solution, we've paid a special focus. So uh, basically, there is a lot of interpretation that we need to do from the data that is uh, available in the form of, you know, uh, XML, HTML, so on and so forth. So what we do is we try and get all these operational entities set up into the system, which is the task itself, with all the required planning operational, not just that, also the control levers, you know, uh, there could be things like, um, you know, serial number effectivity, skills, or, uh, you know, resources, the uh, phases, zones, access panels, so on and so forth, that's all drawn from these OEM documents. And in the context of the app, as well as the uh, desktop execution function that an end mechanic uses on our software. These are rendered in context and also the necessary validations are done to ensure that the controls are not lost. You know, so uh, that's in essence, you know, that, that it's the kind of change changes that we've done uh, as far as this topic is concerned. So just to summarize, we are now offering one single integrated, uh, I would say, intelligent and a responsive system where the technical data is, in fact, seamlessly rendered right at the hands of the mechanic. You know, that's 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 what I had to add about this particular topic, Mark. Well, it's definitely a, you know a strong position. What I can tell you is, that from my own experience traveling all around the world, um, you know, it was not that long ago that maybe 70, 75 percent of the people out there still were not using digital, and even the people that are using digital. Um, you know, are not doing it 100%. And so having focused on this challenge to be able to help make it uh, possible for people to do that is really very, very important.